This might be the only diet video on YouTube where we're not going to talk about food or exercise. The ultimate diet is sleep. Now, before we fall asleep, hear me out. In February 2022, there's a publication in the Journal of the American Medical Association. <laughs> Try saying that. Uh, you'll see how often I struggled with that. Journal, Journal of American, American Medical Association. There's a publication by the, in Journal of American Medical Association. America. In February 2022, it showed that participants who slept less, on average, consumed 270 more calories per day. That's like eating a packet of Cheetos or a Snickers bar extra each day you undersleep. Now, for people who understand sleep, it's probably not that surprising. Sleep controls two major hormones, ghrelin and leptin. Ghrelin affects your hunger and leptin affects your metabolism. Effectively, what happens when you undersleep? The balance of these hormones goes in the wrong direction, effectively meaning you become hungrier and your metabolism slows down. To make things even worse, when we undersleep, we're more likely to eat unhealthy foods. Studies have shown there's a 33% increase in chance of you eating sugary snacks and a 45% increase in the chance of you wanting to eat salty food when you're tired. Now, you probably don't need me to say this. Whenever I'm tired, whenever nearly anyone's tired, you just have this urge, right? Pizza, ice cream, sugar, easy comfort food. It's basically where the word comfort food came from. It's these foods that you can kind of have on a tired, lazy day but it has real implications for our real life and our weight loss fat loss and general happiness in another study a sleep meta-analysis it was shown that adults are 55 percent more likely to become obese if they are constantly oversleeping and for children it's even worse it's 85 percent i hope at this point in the video that you might actually be thinking the title isn't actually clickbait Sleep actually is the ultimate diet. It requires no special diet, no special food, no calorie tracking, no exercises, very few changes. And on top of this, there's a heap load of other benefits you get from sleeping more. Some of the benefits include higher human growth hormone, testosterone, better mood, better ability for cognitive work, and overall better performance. Any professional athlete worth their salt will be investing in their sleep, for example. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a level of skepticism to be had here, which is simply that improving your sleep can be really hard. It does often require lifestyle changes. Often you need to sleep more, which means less time for other activities and the sacrifices that go along with that. And of course, for many people, they might have medical issues behind this. So you have to kind of face some hard truths when looking at improving your sleep. My advice is following this motto. You're not looking for perfection, you're looking for improvement. The odds of you, after the end of this video, any video about sleep, just magically improving your sleep like this, very low. But what you can do is take small, tiny changes in your lifestyle, your mentality, and how you approach your sleep to gradually get to a point where you are sleeping better. And as you might know from this video, that will help you lose weight, lose body fat, and ultimately get a body and a mentality that you're more happy with. If you're interested in improving your sleep, I recommend you follow me on YouTube, Instagram, or LinkedIn. And just to throw you some quick tips, actually. One, I really recommend journaling. A pen and paper next to your bed is a fantastic way to kind of de-stress your mind and get thoughts that are spinning in your head onto paper. Number two, don't allow your phone in the bedroom. You know it's a distraction. Number three, a good night's sleep often starts in the morning. So if you can try and get sunlight as soon as you can in the morning, get a glass of water in before you hit the coffee, it's a fantastic way to start the day, which then is going to lead you more likely to be tired at the right time in the evening. I'm curious to know what tips have worked for other people. So if you've had something that's really helped you sleep, write it in the comments. Much love. Damn, son. See, I can lose body fat. Jesus. I never thought I'd do this. But yeah, so um, sleep works, right? Yeah. Oops.